now we, we have our, our, our pieces, our four pieces, right? We have this piece, right? this piece, right? And that'll go like that. Now we're going to put the blade in, right? And what we want to do is have the blade just not protrude all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clamp up the back, right? So go ahead and put this on. Okay. Now we're going to check the bottom to see right, that the blade just barely doesn't make it. And that's what's happening. Okay? So that's how we want to put it together. We want to make sure everything's flat on the bottom, which it is. That's pretty, isn't it? Um, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to drill some here. And we're going to put pegs in. And that's going to hold everything together while we, while we glue it up. Okay? So I'm going to have you cut some of these. And then we're going to uh, drill the holes for these. I felt like every, the whole table was shaking. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and blow. Oh, yeah. But you get the idea. You go ahead and drill two holes on each side on each end. So, total of eight holes. Okay, Reese. So we drilled those holes, so now we can take the clamps off. Because those holes mark where we are uh, going to do. Okay? Okay. So go ahead and undo those. Oh, wait, before we do, you know what? That's mark which, which end is which. Um, we are going to mark X's just so we don't try to put it together backwards. See? Right in, it went. All right. So go ahead and we're gonna put this one here. Go ahead, hit that one in. All that? Yep. There we go, once you, the sound changes, that's because you bottomed out. The last thing we have to do, Reese, is we have to mark what's called the mouth. Do you know what the mouth is? Nope. Okay. So you're going to look at this plane, right? See? Come here. All right? Gobble, gobble, gobble. It looks like a mouth. That's called the mouth. And the reason it's called the mouth is that's, that's what eats up the shavings. As you shave the board, right, the shavings come up there. Like, like a mouth. Yeah. So that's how you know that's called the mouth. Okay? That's like, you know what else? You know what the front of the plane is called? What? Right? So here's the plane, right? What's the front called? Yep. This is, this is the front, right? This is the back. Pretend it's the foot. So what's this called? It's in the front of your foot. Your toe. Your toe. Yep. What's the back of your foot called? Your heel. There you go. Now, does your foot have a mouth in it? No. No. Well, maybe if you were some sort of monster. Okay. So we're going to mark the mouth, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take this pencil and you're going to draw on these outside boards, right? Just like this. Watch. Right in the corner. Right up we go, right? Do a couple times, and you're going to draw all four sides. Yep, do the other side. Okay, you know why we did that? That's going to tell us where not to put the glue. You know what time it is? Glue up time. Yay! I've been waiting for that. Okay. No one wants to see my face, so this framing works out perfectly. They can see your beautiful face and not see mine. Okay, so we're going to get ready to glue up, right? 
Now these are called calls. You know what a call is? No. Okay. Call is just a block of wood we're going to use to help glue up stuff, right? Like that. Okay? It's going to help us transfer the pressure of the clamps while we glue up. But I don't want these to stick to our good surface, right? So we're going to put wax on them, right? Just regular wax, like candle wax. This is called paraffin wax, and it's wax, feel it. And you can buy it in big, big blocks like this, even bigger blocks. And it's for making candles, usually, right? Not making candles. Or doing canning stuff, like if you're canning fruits and vegetables. I use it to put on the bottom of my planes, right? And it makes the planes go smoother, right? But you can also use it to keep wood from sticking, right? And you can just rub it on like that, right? Just go ahead and rub it on. Yeah. Want to rub it in there? See how it looks like white glue, but it's a little yellow? Yeah. Okay, now use the brush and spread it out and fill that area. But be careful not to go past that line. Tap this in. We want everything to be held nice and tight so the glue dries right, right? We need to put pressure on it for the glue to dry. We need to put pressure on it for the glue to dry. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. With those earmuffs on, you kind of look like Stewie from Family Guy. What? <laughs> what? I said, what's this? You can take those off right now. What's different between this and that? This one's round and that one's square. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this, right, and make it round like that. We're going to make our own dab. And we're going to use that as the pin that goes across to hold the wedge in place. What I'm going to do when I use the table saw, I want your eye protection on and your ear protection. And I want you to stand way over there. Okay? Deal? Yep. Okay, let's get ready and do this. Nice. Half inch by half inch stock. Right there. So we're going to go over to the router table. And we're going to make this round. So we want to keep the ends square, right? So I'm going to actually plunge in, make a cut, but keep the end square. And that'll help guide the piece as we do it. So I'm going to turn on the dust collection. stock. So we made the dowel, right? The last component we have to make is the wedge. Now, I'm looking for wood to make the wedge and I came across this walnut it's not really a whole burl, but it's it's kind of the the crotch of the tree. Do you know what a crotch of the tree is? It's where the tree comes up and the branches go out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cut off a slab of this to use as the wedge. 
kind of cool. We might have to stabilize it a little with some super glue or epoxy um, so it doesn't break up, but I think it'll be a cool thing to make it out of. Cool? Okay, so I'll head over to the bandsaw to cut that. He's eating my hair. What? Tastes terrible. Tastes like you know what that tastes like? What? Wax. Oh, to eat it. Tastes like when I eat candles. <laughs> you eat it. <laughs> We're a weird family, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this slab off um, of this bigger block. And uh, you're going to go over there and put on your earring and your eye protection. It's not earrings. I already have earrings. It's my ear protection. Hearing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go put your hearing protection on okay. and your eye protection. Okay. Talk, talk to the viewers. I love you, people. Who doesn't love you? People. Can I cut this wood yet? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we'll obviously cut that down, otherwise the wedge would be bigger than the plane itself. <laughs> um. Okay, this had ample time to glue up. How long do you think it was? About a week, right? Week and a half. Week and a half. So, you know, life goes on. By the time Reese could come back, I wanted her to see it kind of being unclamped. Um, so, it should be glued up. You know, once we undo this, we can start thinking about shaping it. Um, we also have to sharpen this, right? Yeah. It needs to be sharpened. We got to do the wedge and the dowel. So, um, let's get to unclamping. Ready? You do that one, I'll do this one. Just take a flush cut saw. Doesn't have to be perfect. I kept the off cut from the wedge, right? And I'm just going to slide that down into place, right? Um, and what that'll do is help blow out. I have a backer board to cover the big hole, and I'm going to line it up. Okay, so we drilled the hole. I'm going to pull the little wedge out. Um, it's kind of cool looking. Um, and now I'm left with the two holes clean edges on both sides. So I have a dowel I made out of some sort of wood that's pretty hard. Right? And now I'm just going to slowly drive it in. Okay, it's almost in. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take a little bit of glue, right? A tad bit. It split the wood. Did you really wipe that on my back? No. So it split the wood. I'm going to just put some glue in there and kind of hope that stays. I'm a little worried. to kind of cut this to shape. So one of the things we can do is we can obviously lop this off, right? But we can cut this down. And I think one of the things we're going to do is in the back, we're going to want to come in kind of like that. 
and up front. Going to come in like this and maybe round it down a little. What do you think? It look kind of cool? Okay. But I think the first thing we want to do is we want to take these down so they meet down here. Want to do that with a hand plane? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this at the band saw. We're going to cut it out rough. saw blade um, but what we're going to do is we're going to shape this more so it fits nice in our hand so we just take this like this shot right there. Go ahead. Push down and just rub it back and forth. Rub it back and forth on there. Go ahead. Right? We'll keep doing that until it gets nice and smooth. Okay? Until we round a lot. Okay, we're going to keep rounding. There's not much more to see here, but um, Push a little with your fingers, so hit that real corner right there. It's getting there, I'm getting close. I just want to make sure. I'm going to cut the front. What I want to do is I want to slightly round it. So I'm actually going to lay this out, and I'm just going to go corner to corner. Corner to corner. Okay. And I'm going to darken that center area right there. That's just to let me know where the center, because I'm going to round uniformly around. I want to round this whole area. So, um... Now what I'll do is I'll mark the depth that I want to do this. And I'll just use my wheel marking gauge, which has been working great. Watching for tear out and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing this down. Just keep working, working down to my line and into the center point. Okay, the woodworking glued in me kind of said, do this all by hand. And then uh, the sweating tired guy to me uh, said, you have power tools that can do this. So I'm going to do this on the drum sander over here at the drill press. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some 80 grit um, and I'm going ahead and just really refining any file marks, smoothing the edges, really giving it a nice look and kind of using it to do my, my final shaping. I'm going to go ahead and flatten the bottom. 
Okay, so I have, I, I cut down a little bit this figured piece of walnut that I'm going to be using as the wedge. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut out the rough wedge shape. Safety first, I need eyeglasses so I don't like get anything in my eye because my eyes are so big. That translates to safety first. Okay, so what we got here is I loaded up the plane. We have our sharp blade. Uh, me and Reese, we sharpened that, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it in and I'm going to check the mouth right here. And the blade does pass through just barely. There's an ever so slight amount of uh, the mouth and I need to open it up just slightly. So I got a small file. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that up slightly. Why are you laughing? I felt like you said nail file. Oh, not well. You could use that for your nails. It's small enough. Not really. I'll try. Okay, slight opening. I'm going to leave it there for now. If I need to open it more later, I will. But I'd rather leave it there than take too much off. So there we go. I put the blade in. I've been fiddling with it for a while to adjust it. It's, wow. Can't believe how good those are. You want to try? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's, they're so thin. Here, go ahead. It's more like a small smoother than a block plane. Pretty easy to push now that we sharpened that blade, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it on the side. It's a little too thin right now. Mm -hmm. Look, look. Wow. That's small. That is pretty. Look how thin that is. Wow. You can actually see through it. Right? Like, see? Mm -hmm. That's how thin. That's thinner than a piece of paper. I've never seen right? any. Here, let me try to get a, a nice, good, good one here. Doing it. Well, practice. It's like practice. any. Okay, so it's doing a pretty good job. I'm getting pretty good shavings. Um, feels like a soft pillow. It feels like a soft pillow. You don't get any better than that, right? No. So let's see, where are we? 0 0.003.5 inches. Let's try it on this piece of walnut. Makes me so giddy. It doesn't feel like a soft pillow. Well, no, it's a different type of wood. <gasps> oh my gosh, I get a jackpot of a very soft spot. Very soft spot. You don't get any better, very, I guess, very soft. than very, very soft. When you get shavings where kids go, oh, it's very, very soft. That's better than putting it on the. This is very, very not. Well, it's still thin though, right? Yeah. It's just, it's not. So I gotta work on widening that out for the, but. Yeah. Not too bad. I'm digging it. So, I'm gonna pull it apart and uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish it. Cool? Finish it? I thought we already finished it. No, we gotta put the finish. Not the finish and the finish it. The plane's done, but well, now we gotta finish it. How are we gonna finish it? With how? I'll show you. Oh. Now this this is oil, and now it's not like motor oil. Okay. And it's not like cooking oil, but it's it is food safe. It's called mineral oil, and some people drink this. Do you know why they drink it? Why? To make them go poop. Ew. Ew is right. It's a, it's what's called a laxative. Mm. You want to swig? Nope. Okay. Okay. Wait, Good. You really want me to drink that? No. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pour some of it on this rag. Okay. Right? And other ways. Right? And I'm going to rub it right in. Look at that. 
right? I'm gonna rub it all over the place, right? Go ahead. That crack really comes out and it's noticeable. Huh. It doesn't really matter, it works good. Mm -hmm. I like mine the best now because it's mine. You're playing? Yeah. You're all sweaty, I can see it on your face. It's hot in here. Yeah, it is the hottest of your whole house. Even though they have freezing AC that makes you extremely freezing. But not okay. you. Stop talking about our AC. Okay, rub up there. Here, I don't watch. Have any more. Oh, you got a whole bottle. Nothing right. I touched it. Oh. That's okay. It's not gonna hurt you. I hope we can make another of these, another plan this summer. Well, maybe we will. Maybe we should make a huge one, and it should be called the Sean. The Sean plan instead of the Reese plan. Yep, because it will be one for you, for when you want to just cut wood for yourself. Mm -hmm. and I have to say, this is my prettiest plane. Our plane's done, what do you think? I think it looks good. You think it looks good? I like the pillowy softness of it. The pillow of the shavings? Yeah, what if we stuck on the pillows and slept on them? Oh, we probably could. I'll sleep on a pillow of uh, fluffy, soft shavings. Yeah. Well, if you yeah. can feel it, I would let you feel it, but you can't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. It was a fun yeah. project to make. I really enjoyed being out here with her. Um, it's not 3D. Did you, it's not 3D now. No, so you can't touch it. Yeah. Touch. Did you enjoy touch. making this with me? Yeah. Yeah? What's the plane called? Reese's plane. The Reese plane, yep. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, any questions, send me an email. Um, it was really fun having her out here working with me, and um, until next time.